I think this new resupply mission in GT Online aged me about 20 years from how stressful it was to complete. It started out not so bad, I had to go to Del Perro inside of a parking garage to get some satchel charges, that part was simple. But then we were thrown right into the deep end, both literally and figuratively. I had to swim out to a wreck site deep underwater to where I was tasked to blow up 5 crates in an attempt to find 3 valuables hidden inside of them. After some time I realized I had absolutely EVERYONE after me because there were 3 enemy helicopters flying above just waiting for me to surface like an eagle waiting for its prey to show itself above the water. To which I reacted, oh my 3 fucking helicopters? Why? I got the 6th star on me. Once I retrieved all three valuables, I didn't really know what to do to get out, so I called in one of the most useful vehicles of all time, the Kraken Avisa submarine, to at least get me to the shore. Oh, teleport! See you later, bitch! Chat, we finally found a use for the Avisa sub. I soon came to find out that the Kraken Avisa had bulletproof glass, so I sat there and kind of bragged a little. Until I was met with instant karma just a few seconds later after I was forcibly kicked out of my vehicle and tried to escape with my crutch bike. Suckers! Oh, it kicked me out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's just get out. Oh, shit. Oh, my. These motherfuckers set up the goddamn anti oppressor formation, which I obviously did not see coming. I dodged the first one, but his buddy was lined up right behind him in perfect position right after I just finished dodging the other blades. You can imagine what happens next with three buzzards waiting for me on spawn. Eventually, I ended up fighting off all the buzzards and got into my sparrow and rushed to the safe house where I would deliver the valuables. And I thought right there that it would have been mission complete because it was so much work to even get to this part. But nope, they hit me with an old school Billy Mays infomercial and said, But I'm not done yet! Because now I had to drive a dubster 6x6 two miles to my warehouse. And it wasn't until I got to the warehouse with the goods a whole 25 minutes since the start of the mission that it was finally complete. And I think I've played heist finales that I've completed in less time than that resupply mission. My goodness. Word of advice, if you ever do a crate resupply and you see the words go to Del Perro on top of your screen, instead of going to Del Perro, what you should do instead is go to the pause menu and find a new session. Trust me, save yourself from the mistakes that I made.